What's going on? Nick again here, and today we have an unboxing of my brand new telescope, William Optics FLT91. Um, so as you can see, I already have the box already undone and tried to blur out my name on some of the things. So without further ado, let's get it unboxed. If you hear some noises, my dogs are in the room as well. There's one right there, that's my Shiba. So I got the FLT91 and I also have the um, flat 6A III reducer. It's the one that's specifically for the 91. So we're gonna see how that is too. Let me just get everything cleaned up here. All right, perfect. So right off the bat, um, I'd like to just note that I got this from Agena Astro, um, super quick shipping. I think they got them in on last Friday. So it took about five days for it to come to me through UPS, which is pretty good right now during COVID. There's a lot going on. Um, so yeah, right away, very nice case. It's included. Um, just a small thing that a lot of scope manufacturers these days don't do, which is odd to me when you have an expensive product. You don't, you don't offer anything to the customer to protect it other than a box. That's really crappy of them to do. Um, but yeah, so right away, very impressed with the shipping and just the overall setup. This is my second William Optics scope. I actually sold the um, Z73 that I had for a different scope. But yeah, so this will be probably my main scope right now. Um, here you go, if anybody wants to see this. So it's a FLT91 RD RP33. And here's the checklist of everything they go through. Cleanliness, collimation, paint, baffles, dew shield, focuser, focus tension, smoothness, and free movement, mounting rings, dovetail, and carry bag. Very nice, very nice. Different style bag that I, than the one that I got with the Z73, um, but still very nice. We'll cut this open here. The one thing that I really love about William Optics products is that they seem to they seem to include everything you need. So you get the nice dovetail plate on the bottom. You get the carry handle with the optional track to put things in. All those little things add up. Um, you do pay a premium for some of these products, but I just wanna show the size. It's hard to tell. There's my arm. Um, even that's not giving the best view. It's a big scope. It's a hefty size scope. I'm pretty happy with this. So let's see what our size is with the dew shield fully extended. I believe that's it right there. So there you go. Nice size scope, I believe. Fully extended, I'm trying to think of what it is. Fully extended, I think it's 540 millimeters. That might be the focal length, so don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, let me go through a few of the features if you don't own a William Optics scope or you just wanna know what this one has on it. So right away, right at the front, we have their signature um, scope cover, which is awesome that it's on the outside of the scope. On my ED127, it is not. It is on the inside, which is so annoying and I think promotes a lot more dust. The neat part about these, in all William Optics products, is the built-in Batnov mask, which is awesome for checking focus, which a lot of people need to do. I personally don't use it as much. Um, every once in a while, I do check my ZWO EAF to see if it's calibrated. But other than that, there's really no purpose for me to, uh, to actually use it. Let me get a little zoomed in here, just so we get a little bit better uh, clarity. All right, perfect. So let's check out that glass. 
There we go. F5.9 at the um, focal length that it comes with. I will be using it with the reducer, which we'll open in a second, um, which will take it down to, I think, 4.9, 4.87, whatever uh, 5.9 times 0.8 actually is. I don't have the specs in front of me. This is the rotator, which is something that's new to me. Let's see if we can get zoomed in on that rotator there. There we go. So the rotator is pretty nice because it allows you to change the rotation of your camera without having to actually take the camera off. And it keeps your imaging train uh, intact, so to speak. Lock that down, very nice. I believe that's called the Roto Lock. Um, this is our visual back here, our imaging back, I should say, on this scope. Very nice. I would presume the reducer goes right into that, but I don't know. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Oh, that's part of the Roto Lock right there. So that's how you release it. And that would be how you lock it in. Very nice, okay. So I guess that's part of the rotation train as well. I'm not exactly sure what that really does. Um, it's definitely interesting. Let me get this all squared away here. Cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality. Um, let's see if we have a smooth action here. Yes, we do. Very nice. Very nice. And then there's also the fine focuser, which works very nice. I'll bring that around to show that. That has a removable cover. Very nice. I love that they include their branding on everything. It just shows they really care about the product. And I'm a very big fan of the William Optics line. Um, I really think they have quality product. And let's see if we can get that guy all the way extended out and see what it looks like. There we go. So there it is, completely extended. Um, like I said, very smooth action. It seems like a very, very sturdy focuser. Um, there were some complaints about their older ones not being as sturdy as these guys. This one looks really nice. I love the incremental numbers along the dovetail. That's very nice as well. Helps you know where to place your mount. I unfortunately still have a mobile setup somewhat. I have to carry it from my basement out to my uh, pier outside. So that doesn't allow me to have the exact same balancing point every night. I have to rebalance and little stuff like that helps. So let's get the reducer out and see what the reducer looks like. So nothing too much in the box, nothing too exciting. You do get a product warranty card, which I haven't really seen from them too much before. So that's interesting. It must be something they're, they're adding to their repertoire. All right. And here it is. So we have the adjustable flattener focal reducer 0.8x, flat 6a, iii. So I'm thinking that possibly the part that is specific to the uh, FLT91 is gonna be this piece right here. So it looks like what's gonna happen is the reducer will screw right into this guy and that guy will screw right onto the imaging train. Probably right here at that black ring. Not, a, not exactly sure yet, but I'm gonna try it right now. I'm gonna find out. Very nice. Yep, I was right. So that guy screws right on there. And I think it's a safe bet to say that I'm correct that this guy goes right onto here. Ooh. Almost lost it. <laughs> there we go. Another reason why I went with this um, 
configuration and that iteration with the reducer is because I only really want to work with screw-on items. Um, I do not like compression rings. For a mono setup, they don't really hold well for me. Um, let me get a close-up here. Yeah, they don't really hold well, but that is really sleek looking right there. There you go. So we have the thread on ring. This thread right on, I mean, this isn't moving at all. It's really very sturdy, very stable, looks really clean. So yeah, I will post another video very soon, as soon as I can get out and use the scope, and I'll show you how it works. Hopefully everything um, sets up nicely. I will be setting this up with my ASI 2600 mm and my complete mono setup so we'll see how it goes thanks for watching and uh leave any questions or comments down below thanks